Hello friends. I got it. Welcome back to my new After Effects tutorial. Okay. Today we will be going to create this. So as always create a new composition name it electric logo animation, set 1920 by 1080, as well as set frame rate 30, and duration 10 seconds long, you are free to use your own settings. Now create a new solid layer, this will be our background, set any color you want, we will change color by adding a gradient ramp, so add a gradient ramp on the solid layer. In gradient ramp, set start color as shown, and end color black, and set ramp scatter to 500%. Now import our logo and scale if needed. Now pre-compose the logo layer, name it logo comp, and choose to move all attributes into the new composition. Now select the logo composition, go in layer, and auto trace, don't change any properties, and hit OK. Now go in effects and presets, and search for fill and add to logo comp, and set fill color to black. Again go in the effects and presets, and search for the saber effect, add to logo composition, by the way, you need download this effect from Video Copilot, it will absolutely free, I will add a link in the description. Now in the Saber, set preset to the portal, and change color, you can change the color that you like, I like the orange color. Now in Customize Core, set Core Type to the Layer Mask, and set Glow Intensity to 175%, and set the core size 0.30%. Now on 10 frames create a keyframe on mask evolution, and set mask evolution to minus 50 degrees. Now go at 5 seconds and 10 frames forward, and set mask evolution to 0% and mask rotation to minus 3%. Again go on 10 frames, and create a keyframe on start size, and set the start size to 0%. Now go 10 frames forward, and set the start size to 200%. Again go on 10 frames, and create a keyframe on start offset, set it 100%, now go on 5.10 frames forward, and set start offset to 0%. Now go on 20 frames, and create a keyframe on end offset, and go 30 frames forward and set end offset to 0%. Now move to the next step. Go in render settings, set composite settings to add, and alpha mode to mask core, Now set logo comp to add. Again add saber to this logo composition, now set preset to portal. And set glow intensity to 70%. Again go in customize core, set core type to the layer mask. And go on 20 frames, and create a keyframe on mask evolution and go on 5.15 seconds and set mask evolution to minus 4 degree again go on 20 frames and create a keyframe on start size and set it 0% now go on 1.10 seconds forward set start size to 200% now go on 20 frames and create a keyframe on start offset and set start offset to 100%. Now go on 5.15 seconds, 
and set start offset to 0%. Now go on 1 second and create the keyframe on end offset, and go on 2.20 seconds, and set end offset to 0%. Now go in render settings, set composite settings to add, and alpha mode to mask core. Perfect. Now move to the next step. Make the logo layer 3D, and duplicate it, on the bottom logo layer name it logo shadow, on logo shadow, press R to open rotation, and set X rotation value to minus 90 degree, and pull it down like this. Now go in effects and presets, and search for compound blur, and add to the logo shadow layer, and set maximum blur amount to 200%, and select invert blur, I thought blur is so high, so I am set at 100%. Again go in effects and presets, and search for CC radial fast blur, and apply to the logo shadow layer, and set the amount to 80%, now select the logo shadow layer, and press T to open opacity, and set the opacity to 60%. Perfect. Now create a logo reveal. Go in the project window, and import the logo comp to timeline, and name it logo reveal. Now go in effects and presets, and search linear wipe, and add to logo reveal layer, now go on 3 seconds, and create a keyframe on transition completion, and set transition completion to 100%, now go 1 second forward, and set transition completion to 0%. Now set wipe angle to minus 60 degrees, as well as set feather to 200%, now press U to open all keyframes, and select the last keyframe, and bring it on 5 seconds, and easy ease all keyframes. Now go on 4.20 seconds, and select the second and third logo layer, and press T to open opacity, and click on the small stopwatch icon to create a keyframe, now go 10 frames forward, and set both opacity to 0%. Again go 4.20 seconds. In the logo reveal layer, press S to open scale, and create a keyframe on the scale, and go on 5.10 seconds, and set scale as shown. Now select all keyframes go keyframe assistant and easy ease them. Now open the graph editor and change the curves something like this, and this is how it will look now. Make the logo reveal layer 3D, and create a new camera. As well as create a new null layer. I call it controller, and make the null layer 3D, now parent camera with null layer. Now go at end of the timeline, and press P to open position, and add a keyframe on it, now at the start of the timeline, change the Z position as shown. Now create a new adjustment layer. Go in effects and presets, and search for curves, and add curves on the adjustment layer, and adjust the curves as shown. Now select the logo reveal layer, go in effects and presets, and search CC light sweep, and add it to the logo reveal layer, now set sweep intensity to 30%, and edge intensity to 
as well as set edge thickness to 3%. Now go around 5.15 seconds, and create a keyframe on center, and set center as shown. Now go on 6.15 seconds again set center as shown. Easy ease the center keyframes. If you want to change the logo, by the text or any logo, use this short process. Expand the logo light layer, in the mask, select all masks and delete it. Now double click on the logo light layer, and import your second logo. And delete the previous logo. Now go in our main composition, and select the logo light layer, go in layers and auto track, and hit OK. Now you see our logo has been changed. Now our animation is complete, have a nice day.